Hello there! Day 56 and the end of the final full week of the Ewan McGregor-thon. And today I will be watching T2 Train Spotting. The reason I watched Train Spotting, like before the Ewan McGregor-thon, was because this film was made. But I don't know anything about this film. However, I don't feel like I should. Just knowing that it's a sequel to Train Spotting is enough to kind of have me excited for this film. I liked Train Spotting uh, when I saw it for the Ewan McGregor a thon. Uh, I didn't really enjoy it when I watched it before the Ewan McGregor a thon, but when I watched it for the Ewan McGregor a thon, I thought it was very, very good. So my hopes for the sequel are high. I don't know exactly what way they will go with the sequel, because the first film ended kind of perfectly. Like, it, it was a very good way to tell you that it's just extremely difficult to get out of the way of living of uh, the junkies. And there is, a uh, what, 20 years between uh, the second film and the first one, so the ca uh, I, I hope the characters are all aged up and I am, uh, yeah, very curious to see what will have happened to them. I am curious to see whether they still use a heroin, whether they have a perfect life. Um, I think it will be a bit of both. Maybe some of them have uh, got out of the janky lifestyle and some of them um, have not and are still uh, yeah, dealing with those problems. But uh, we will see, we will see. I will let you know what I thought of the film after I've seen it. So, T2 train spotting. I don't think it's generally as loved as the first one, and I can see why. I understand why. I don't agree with it though. To me, this film is as good, and maybe even a little bit better than the first one. Now, there's some people who believe that sequels, especially when they're made years later can't be as good or even better as the first one, but I don't agree with that. That's just, that doesn't make sense. There always should be a level of respect for the original one, but no, sequels can be good. The first thing I noticed about this film is uh, that it is funnier than the first one. And I can see people arguing that a train spotting movie shouldn't be funny, but I disagree. I think it's funny in just the right way. It uses its humor in just the right way so that the humor works perfectly. Still got this really depressing film about people's lives and how they're kind of ruined by an addiction. But uh, yeah, there's just some humor in it. But the humor plays off of the depression and that worked. Another thing I noticed, this film is way less disgusting than the first one. As you might remember, my main gripe with the first film was that it's really disgusting. It has some really, really awful scenes in there. And this film, yeah, it had some disgusting scenes in it, but uh, nowhere near as much as the first film. And once again, I can see people arguing that, well, that's what makes train spotting train spotting. The disgusting scenes has have to be in there. But uh, once again, I disagree. I found this film, which has the same themes and the same kind of story as the first film, but just less, yeah, less gore in it. And to me, that worked just a little bit better. Ewan McGregor, of course, is great, just like everyone else in this film. The main four characters, Renan, Sick Boy, uh, Spud and Begbie, those four are just amazing. And the story for me this time worked just a little bit better. I thought the first one had kind of no idea where it was going most of the time. I, I get it, it was supposed to show the life of these five junkies who themselves don't know where they're going. But this story at least felt like it had a structure. It started with reintroducing these familiar characters and then it moved towards uh, the plan of Sick Boy and eventually it all climaxed in the, in the attempted murder of Begbie. 
So all in all, I have to say that I think I liked this film a little bit better than the first one. The difference isn't huge. It's not big enough to give this film an increased score. I think if I were to rewatch one of those films, I would probably rewatch this one. It might just be the novelty of a transporting film though. But I feel like this film made me appreciate the first one more. I feel like after this film, I could call myself a transporting fan. Not a huge fan, but I, yeah, I, I think I can appreciate the franchise more now. Anyway, I'm going to give this film an 8 out of 10, just like its predecessor. It's great, it really gives a grim look at these four junkies' life. Yeah, it's, it's funny sometimes when it can be, it's serious and dark when it has to be, and yeah, it just worked pretty well for me. Tomorrow I'm going to watch Beauty and the Beast, so do join me for that. And I will see you tomorrow.